I was, I think as a journalist, you're just always a naturally curious person. And ever since I was a child, I was always aware that I was adopted. I had an older sister, um, you know, who my parents had when they adopted me. And we looked nothing alike. She has blonde hair, blue eyes. She looks more like Julie. And so everywhere we'd go, people would be like, your sisters? That's weird. Um, and so I just, it was something that I always knew, but I was always curious. I never really wanted a relationship. I had a mom and dad. I had a family. I had a sister. But I just wanted to know. I wanted to know what they looked like. Um, you know, what happened? Um, why was I plucked from the shores of Hawaii when I was two weeks old and taken to Idaho? Um, no. yes. <laughs> so, um, and because I had lived in foster care for two years, I had stayed in touch throughout my childhood with my foster mother. I would meet her occasionally. And when I was applying for college, I reached out to her and asked her about my ethnicity because I said, oh, I want to use it on a college application. And so she gave me all the information she had, and she told me that my birth father's name was Keith Echeverry, and the last she knew, he was living in uh, Maui, Hawaii, and that he had had a son who was a few years older than me, and that they would come and visit me during the two years that I was with her. And, you know, she remembers seeing my mother at one point, and this was all new information to me, and I was about 17 years old at the time when I got this information. And so finally, this colleague of mine was like, she was from Florida, and she said, Lisa, you just need to write him a letter. <laughs> and so I finally did, and that's where a lot of this information was confirmed, so. You wrote your dad? I wrote my grandfather, my mother's father. So, yeah, I'm leaving a lot of it out, but I, my, foster mother knew the information of my grandfather. He was the one who kind of rescued me from Hawaii. I was taken, taken from my parents, my biological parents, because they were homeless, living on a beach, um, and placed into custody, protective care in Hawaii. And then they called my grandfather and said, you need to come down here, get your daughter, who's 21 years old, and get your granddaughter. Um, so he flew down to Maui from Idaho. He was living in Idaho at the time, picked us up, as my foster mother tells the story, you know, the only time she ever really saw my birth mother was in a court hearing when they were trying to take custody, permanently take custody from her. And she said she had brown hair and blue eyes. And, and my birth father, um, he was a military brat, traveled all over the world and just grew up kind of living in the islands. His father was in the Navy and always wanted to be in the islands, even though they spent a lot of time in Southern California too. So they actually met in Hawaii, my, my biological mother, was they're very smart people. My grandmother, who is Scandinavian, uh, my mother's mother, she went on a full ride scholarship to Stanford, like back in the 40s or 50s, which is pretty unheard of. Yeah. Like a couple days later, Michael and I were sitting on the couch in Pensacola, and my little flip phone rang, and I knew instantly who was calling. And it's amazing, like when I was finally able to meet them at the age of 24 to see like the similarities. My father's dark complected. That's clearly where I get a lot of my darker features. My mother, we have the same teeth, like the same wear, the exact same like height, exact same shoe size. It's weird. It's very, and it's interesting to see the difference between nature and nurture. You know, I'm clearly very different from a lot of them. Um, but the, we have a lot of similarities. Right. This guy, who I think might be a brother, last logged in three days ago. So it looks oh. like he's active yeah, on this. So he would be yes. your biological dad's other son. So he'd be a half father. sibling. Still in Hawaii? No, he passed away in 2009. Yeah. But I'm so thankful that I, you know, that was always a concern of mine, waiting, because if you wait too long, you know, you, they might not be around. So I'm glad I did it when I did it 